like an Earth, Wind, and Fire concert. Rob Dyrdek, who is best known as the former superstar skateboarder, and more recently entrepreneur, actor, producer, and reality TV personality, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate, including a mansion in the 90210 zip code of Beverly Hills. The home located in the exclusive Mulholland Estates neighborhood was a pretty dope location, and not to mention his neighbors include Kendall Jenner, Christina Aguilera, Vanna White, Paris Hilton, Big Sean, DJ Khaled, Mike Shinoda, Tracy Edmonds, and Charlie Sheen, just to name a handful. Derdick is no stranger to the real estate game, as prior to this in 2016, Derdick sold his four bedroom, three bathroom, 3,700 square foot house in the Laurel Hills neighborhood of LA between Laurel Canyon and Coldwater Canyon for 3.5 mil. While in 2015, Derdick spent 9.9 .9 million on a vacant 3.1 acre lot that's just down the road from his $6 million mansions. That lot is the largest property in the entire community and was once owned by Robbie Williams. We'll take a look at a few properties that Rob Derdick has called home, including most of his recent purchases, a $6 million a substantial LA mansion that features almost 7,000 square feet, boasts four bedrooms and three and a half baths. This property also comes complete with an elegant rectangular swimming pool, spa, and breathtaking views of Beverly Hills. You don't want to miss this house tour. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Rob Dyrdek, the former professional skateboarder turned MTV reality star, actor, producer, and entrepreneur, has built himself quite the lucrative career that includes a $50 million net worth. By the time he was 12, he got a sponsorship and began his pro skateboarding career. At 16, he left home to move to Southern California to be a professional skateboarder. Jeez, what was I doing at 16? <laughs> Soon after moving to California, Dyrdek began to ride for DC Shoes and was sponsored by them until 2016. In addition, Dyrdek has been sponsored by Silver Trucks, EA Skate, and Monster Energy. Dyrdek founded the Street League Skateboarding competition back in 2010 and since then the competition has grown into an international event with a 1.6 million dollar prize. Derdick has done some damage with his skateboard as he has set 21 individual Guinness Book of World Records skateboarding records. In addition, Derdick began killing it on MTV with Robin Big and ran on MTV for three seasons with more than 30 episodes produced from November 2006 to April 2008. Rob Derdick's Fantasy Factory ran for 70 episodes over seven seasons starting in February 2009 and Rob Derdick makes 60,000 an episode for Robin Big. He made on thousand an episode for Rob Dyrdek's Fantasy Factory. While Dyrdek has killed it in his skateboarding and reality television career, he is taking a few losses with his real estate portfolio. In May 2008, Dyrdek spent two and a half million for a home in the Mount Olympus neighborhood above Laurel Canyon that was sold in November 2012 for 2.1 million, a $334,000 loss. This was followed with his March 2013 sale after nearly five long years on and off the market at increasingly lower prices. He took a $220,000 loss on a mid-1960s multi-level modern in the Hollywood neighborhood near Lake Hollywood that he bought in 2005 for 1.3 million and sold for 1.1 million. However, with his money in the bank, it wasn't too much of a stress for him as he went on to purchase the $6 million mansion in Beverly Hills. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. Notice 95% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every single day. Now, we've re previously reported on Tiger Woods House and Keith Urban, so if you guys would like to check those out, please do so. And if you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram at that dude McFly, and hit us up in the comments down below for more house tour suggestions. Let's get into the video. Rob Derdick scored this fancy dig back in June 2012 for two and a half million and immediately began floor to ceiling renovations. This beautifully remodeled single story contemporary home boasts four beds, three baths, and features stunning valley, city, and mountain views. Probably the most glamorous part of the abode is the grassy manicured grounds that come complete with pool and spa. The home features a spacious great room with high pitched ceilings, stacked stone fireplace, and floor to ceiling windows. A kitchen fit for a king features a bright and open gourmet kitchen decked out in Viking stainless steel appliances, walnut cabinets, and marble counters and also has a gorgeous view. The master bedroom features an enormous walk-in closet that could easily be another room. Master bathroom that comes with complete dial tubs and steam shower. Not to mention the bathroom has large oversized windows that feature more breathtaking views of the valley. While the home itself featured over 3,700 square feet, it's planted on a 13,000 square foot lot property and contains a gated carport and three car garage because, well, we all know Derdick loves his whips. After Rob Derdick began to make bank, it only made sense for him to make the upgrade to this luxurious mansion in Beverly Hills. The home built in 1999 was formerly owned by the late music manager, Howard Kaufman. This nearly 7,000 square foot property boasts 
four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms is loosely based on an authentic Mediterranean villa. After a series of renovations, the house has since been reborn as its glitzy new white on white look will certainly impress guests lucky enough to visit. If that doesn't do it for you, then surely the walls of fold away glass doors and the hardwood floors which have undergone a trendy darkening and now flow throughout the entire home definitely will. Upon entry, guests are greeted to a grand entrance that features lavish hardwood flooring, soaring walls, a spiraling staircase, and a combination of elegant paintings and unique antiques. One of the dining areas features a garden wooden china cabinet, a balcony overlooking the foyer, and oversized windows that give the room an airy and roomy ambiance. Another dining area is located steps away from the gourmet chef kitchen, and this room is decked out with cozy furnishings, an enormous fireplace, and a giant flat screen television perfect for binge watching. The kitchen is truly a thing of beauty as it features all of the modern stainless appliances, deluxe wooden cabinets, a beautiful island perfectly centered in the room, and a ton of pots and pans. Rob Derdick must really enjoy cooking a meal or two. This fancy abode wouldn't come complete with its very own home theater, of course, that features a giant projector screen and a cozy leather furnishings that recline and come with drink holders. The master suite features a grand balcony to catch more enchanting views of Beverly Hills, more oversized windows that give the room life, an enormous flat screen television that delicately hangs over a fireplace. Balcony access features a series of lounging chairs to catch some rays and overlooks the glamorous pool and spa. Massive his and hers bathrooms features granite countertops, walk-in shower, soaking tub, changing station, yet another beautiful oversized window, and an enormous grandfather clock that just gives a stylish vibe. As luxurious as the interior features are, the property continues to offer a deluxe rectangular swimming pool and spa attached. Guests have the option to lounge around on lavish outdoor furnishings, shoot a couple of hoops with the basketball net, or grab a drink in the outdoor bar. Not to mention the backyard features a substantial hard skate terrace and a grassy lawn and a balcony overlooking the yard, plus valley views that stretch for miles. All right, so I think that's where we'll bring this house tour to an end. We got to take a quick look at Rob Derdick's home and that massive pad in Beverly Hills that comes complete with its very own home theater. God, I wish I had. After seeing that fancy house he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you expected out of Deerdick? Personally, I'm a huge fan of the upgrade in Beverly Hills. I think that place is like 10 times better than his previous house. Out of Deerdick's features, which ones were your faves? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at McFly and tell us whose house tour to do in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.